This is a real image from Bruce Lee's funeral. In 1973, Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee suddenly died suddenly on the bed of Hong Kong actress Ding Pei. The cause of his death is unknown. Bruce Lee's funeral was held once in Hong Kong and once in the United States. His wife Linda was preparing to leave for the Kowloon funeral home. At this time, the outside of the funeral home was already crowded with movie fans who came to see Bruce Lee's last look. The authorities had to send in police to maintain order. Even so, the scene almost got out of control. Linda entered the morning hall surrounded by Zhou Wenwei and his wife. Linda's eyes were swollen from crying because she was so sad that she had to wear sunglasses. The words, continue the next life, are written on the wreath under the portrait, expressing his wife's longing for Bruce Lee. After Linda bowed three times to Bruce Lee's morning hall, she put on Chinese morning clothes. The one wearing a black skirt is Miao Kasho, she is Bruce Lee's rumored girlfriend. This time, she brought Bruce Lee's favorite custard apple. The guests who came to express their condolences had already begun to enter, and they bowed three times to Bruce Lee. Family members stood aside to return gifts to the guests. Bruce Lee had appeared on Hong Kong TVB during his lifetime. Therefore, TVB's Run Run Shaw and others came to express their condolences. Jiahe Company, which Bruce Lee worked with during his lifetime, sent dozens of martial arts masters to guard the morning hall. This is the young Sam Ohung, who helps maintain order at the scene. This bearded foreigner is George Lazabi, who plays 007 and has collaborated with Bruce Lee. At around 11 o'clock, Bruce Lee's son and daughter entered the morning hall under the escort of servants. His son, Lee Guahao, was only eight years old. With the support of adults, he bowed three times to his father's portrait. The daughter, Li Shangning, is only four years old, and she obviously doesn't understand what happened at the scene. Immediately, they were sent to Linda's side and also changed into mourning clothes. Almost all celebrities from all walks of life in Hong Kong came to express their condolences, and everyone felt extremely sad. Ding Pei did not come to the scene that day, but asked someone to deliver a wreath. There were even 30,000 movie fans gathered outside the funeral home, which shows how influential Bruce Lee was at that time. This is Bruce Lee's luxurious copper coffin. Bruce Lee looks peaceful inside the copper coffin. Guests gathered around the copper coffin to pay their last respects to Bruce Lee. No one can accept this fact. Li Shangning looked at her father and felt that he was a little strange at this time. The moment Linda saw her late husband, she could no longer control her emotions. After the condolences ended, Linda and her children went home first. This place called Chihe Residence was Bruce Lee's home. There is a portrait of Bruce Lee hanging in the room, as well as various equipment for his usual training. This is Bruce Lee's study room. On the table are the books he read. The nanny was already sorting out Bruce Lee's belongings at this time, because the owner of the house was gone forever. Finally, they covered the furniture with a layer of white cloth. After the funeral in Hong Kong, Linda and her children took Bruce Lee's coffin to the United States for burial. At the airport, Linda briefly held a press conference. This was the first time he talked about Bruce Lee's death to the outside world. She claimed that Bruce Lee died of natural causes and hoped that the outside world would not disturb Bruce Lee again. After the press conference, Linda and her team flew to Seattle. Bruce Lee's mother, brother and others had been waiting in Seattle for a long time. The mother-in-law and daughter-in-law hugged each other and cried when they met. Linda held a Western-style funeral for Bruce Lee in Seattle again. Bruce Lee lies in another copper coffin next to which is a Tai Chi diagram made of flower petals, which is the emblem of Bruce Lee's martial arts school. The president of Warner Corporation spoke first. Bruce Lee's friends in the United States bid farewell to him one by one. Bruce Lee's mother kissed her son's forehead with the support of everyone. Finally, Linda took her two children and said goodbye to Bruce Lee. After the funeral, six of Bruce Lee's disciples and close friends supported the spirit and they transported Bruce Lee to the cemetery for burial. 
According to Western etiquette, everyone throws their white gloves at the grave. This shows that the friendship with the deceased will last forever. At this time, Bruce Lee's mother couldn't help crying again. Bruce Lee's grave is located in Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle. Many years later, his son Lee Guahao was also buried here.